Hello everyone and welcome. My name is Daniel and I run Nordic Anglers, um, a web shop based in Denmark that sells all sorts of fly fishing equipment, all the fly fishing equipment and fly tying you could ever possibly wish to uh, imagine. We, we, we have everything um, at Nordic Anglers. Today we're going to tie a fly. This is a fly tying tutorial and uh, there is a famous, famous Danish fly pattern that's called Brenda. Uh, which basically has the color scheme of this one, um, but this is a booby fly, so we were kind of <laughs> we were a bit on uh, on exactly what to call this. So it's gonna be called Brenda's boobies, uh, no Brenda booby Brenda or something along those lines. Um, it's basically a booby fly, which is is a type of a fly that has these big foam eyes, um, which make the fly fish very very. Uh, in, in a very specific way, so we fish it on a, on a sinking line. And if you want to know more about how to fish with these booby flies, then uh, you can find a lot of tutorials full uh, tutorials on exactly how to do this. So now we're gonna tie uh, the the fly here, the the Brenda booby, and um, and uh, it's it, the color scheme here is a bit more. Um, Subtle than some of the uh, some of the ones we've designed and, and fished for stock rainbows And this is because this is intended to fish for for the the, the sea trouts on the Danish coast or I mean more natural trout So here goes Here goes the Brenda booby. Now the first thing we need is a, is a hook. I like the Arix Stinger for this in the size 8. The, uh, the size of the booby eyes, I like to, to dimension these quite big. So we're gonna take 8mm uh, foam here, cut this in half, and then I'm gonna mount these uh, and start the fly off by uh, simply just pushing the hook through the foam like this and uh, we're gonna do it a bit off center so um, so when we when we, we retrieve the fly because of the uneven size of the eyes then the fly will move really really erratic in the water I'm gonna just attach some tying thread here and then I'm gonna make a bundle of tying thread maybe three or four layers of, uh, of tying thread to have something for the eyes to latch onto and there we go I'm gonna take my sap again and just smear a small amount of saba gap here to make sure that this fly is as durable as strong as possible and then i'm gonna turn make an eight figure turn on the eyes and then on the other side as well to make sure that the foam is tied down fast and uh, securely Move them a bit into place before the glue hots up as and now you can see the uh, the the eyes are uneven in size Not much, but but uh, but uh, This is enough to make sure that the fly moves really really a lot, lot, lot more lively in the water to make sure that everything will stay in place I'm just gonna apply a bit more sabagap gap this time uh, directly to the tying thread Put this off to the side and this way I get some sabagap gap in between the eyes as well, ensuring the fly will be really strong, really durable and will last for uh, numerous fish. Then we move the tying thread all the way down to where the hook starts to, where the, the hook starts to bend and then we need to tie the tail. And the color scheme of the famous Brenda is uh, is ginger, so of course we're gonna use uh, uh, a ginger tail here. This is gonna be a ginger tail made from marabou, uh, because it, it really plays into 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 the idea of this fly, which is to have something that is moving as much and as possible in the water. Attach the tie down the marabou here. So basically you have a lot of different good things going on here. You have uh, the tail of a woolly bucker, the eyes of the booby, the, uh, the color scheme of, of, the, of the really, really awesome Brenda fly. I mean, this is, 
this is a combination of of many of the things that that has just throughout the time just been proven time and time again there we go tying down on top of the marabou and since this is a, this is a Brenda-ish fly, we need a, a rooster hackle in ginger. We're gonna tie this in the tip. There we go. And then we start to apply some of the dubbing. And uh, the dubbing we're going to use here is, is the really, really fluorescent, what many people call UV, which is not UV but fluorescence um, a dubbing here. A great, great dubbing that is used in many, many uh, trout patterns here, at least here in, in Denmark and Northern Europe. It's, it's, it's probably the dubbing that sells the best in the shop. Um, and with good reason, it just catches and, and fishes so well. Um, I'm going to apply some dubbing here. And just a small amount in the beginning here, because now we need to to tie uh, to apply some rubber legs. And for this, I'm going to use some fairly uh, fairly neutral uh, kind of gingerish uh, small rubber legs. Silly legs is, is fine. Apply one to this side of the fly here. There we go. And then a pair on the other side. There we go. As soon as I have secured these, I'm gonna pull on these all the way up and tie them down so they're out of the way of, of the next step. The next step is to finish the body with the uh, with the Samo Supreme rainbowed up. Taking a small amount more. Go. And with this dubbing, I can really uh, make sure that my rubber legs is is placed where I want them to be placed. So I'm gonna turn the other the the two pairs that was pointing out forward. I'm gonna turn them, and then I'm gonna I'm gonna make sure that they stay where they're placed with the dubbing. So now I have two pairs of rubber legs. These are too long. We're gonna trim them down in in a second. Okay. Just a small amount of dubbing more is needed for this. Keep the legs in check. There we go. And then I'm gonna turn my hackle. And this is the only thing that is a bit annoying here. It's to turn this hackle up towards the front of the fly without it tangling with the... Uh, so have your dubbing needle uh, well at hand. Um, Then I need to turn this in between their legs. There we go. It that's also why I use rooster because rooster is not that dense. There we go. And then I'm gonna make maybe two turns of the hackle all the way very close to to the to the booby eyes. Gonna tie down the hackle here by holding it forward and then applying some tying thread. Turn the fly upside down to cut off the hackle stump. Gonna trim the legs. So they will stand out but not be too that was maybe a bit short on on the front part. Yeah, the 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 I cut the the two first ones a bit short, but they need to be uneven in length. These as well in order to move individually. 
Then I move the tying thread between the eyes up to the uh, up to the eye of the hook. And up here I'm gonna do my whip finish in front of the booby eyes. And you can cut away the tying thread. And the, and the, the head of the finish of the fly here is gonna be protected by the booby eyes. And basically there you have it. I must say I found some uh, just laying around here on my tying disc, I found some uh, 3D eyes. And uh, and I don't think these are necessary, but I, I couldn't help myself. I'm, I'm gonna add these to this. So I'm gonna add these two small red dotted eyes to the booby. If this reminds you of anything, it's, it's you that are thinking that, not me. <laughs> I didn't say it out loud, you were just thinking it, so you can see how it nice and <laughs> stands up from the rest of the uh, of the foam here. And if this is just something that I just thought of now, so it's it's not gonna be as as such a part of the pattern here. But I'm gonna I'm gonna leave them on here and, and see how it does. Um, and 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 then we'll see if I have to add eyes to all my booby patterns in the future. If you, I'm, I'm just gonna smear just a, a tiny amount of sabagap on top here. That's not the ideal way. The ideal way would be to use UV glue, but I didn't have any at, at the disc just now. So, um, so basically, there you have it. Uh, you can you can leave the eyes on, or you can or, or you can you can add the eyes or or leave them off, depending on on what 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 your preference is. But well, basically, there is the Brenda Brenda booby. There it is, people. The Brenda booby. Um, this is a, this is a more neutral color schemed fly, so it's 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 intended to look more like something that is that is actually food out in the water. Um, if you want to know more about how to fish with booby flies, check out the channel here. There is a lot of different uh, tutorials that tells you all you would ever possibly need to know regarding how to use these techniques. Um, as I said, this fly is, is, is more neutral in the color scheme, and that is basically to, 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 to have something that is not as, as, as crazy looking as these that are is designed for stocked rainbows. Um, we have tutorials that show you exactly how to do this fishing, um, and as always, you can find the full and complete material kit for this flies and all the other flies on, uh, on this YouTube uh, at nordicanglers.com. Um, that is our webshop, and uh, we would we would hope that you would uh, swing by uh, and see our big big selection of fly tying and fly fishing equipment so thank you so much for watching good luck out on the water <laughs>